Hi guys, it's your girl Raya here and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be very different. As you can see by the title, I have a public service announcement. It's something that's very, very important and it's something that's weighing very, very heavily on me. Since the situation that inspired this video just happened not too long ago, I want to really, really kind of get this across without really thinking too much on it. So a few months ago, I applied for this job um, because somebody else wanted me to apply for it. It's a full-time job, um, but I didn't. But I didn't want it. There was no growth for me in that type of job whatsoever, and so I did. I didn't want to apply for it. So then the job came. Um, so then I was told again to apply for it. So I went on ahead and applied for it, and then a few days later, I received an email saying that I wasn't good enough for the job and I was unqualified for the job. This was back in March. Then in April, I had an interview with this job because somebody, someone else went and like pulled some strings so that I can get an interview. So I got an interview. Then um, after the interview, you know, they were like, okay, you should hear something back within three weeks. This was now in April. We're in the middle of June. In that time, I've started a different job. I graduated college and I started another job so I'm now working two jobs. One I love and one is one is just mediocre. But um due to the fact that they were like struggling for people, um I don't want I didn't want to just drop them. I wanted to give them some time to find another person to cover me um or to take over once I leave. So I'm just kind of, you know, right there and and it's fine. I have nothing else to do once I'm off from the job that I really really love. I'm pretty much free, so I'll just work there until they can find someone else. I got a phone call this morning, and I was offered the job that other people wanted me to have. And I declined the job offer. And then I told someone about this, and, then, and the response that I got was very, very negative. And it wasn't just negative, but it was like the things that took place during the conversation really, really hurt my feelings. And it's not really much something that was said. It was the intention. There was this wall there. It was like I was talking to a brick wall. I was trying to talk. I was trying to make someone else understand when they didn't want to understand my situation or when they didn't really care to understand um, why I made the decision that I did so I was raised to never settle for less and to be who I am and I live by that I never settle for less and I am who I am and I am a child of God I am someone whom God speaks to and I speak to him quite often when it comes to making decisions especially decisions like that as well as because I'm moving in a few months I don't want to take a position that they just had open for a while looking for someone and then leave a few months later so they have to reopen the position and had go another while looking for someone. I know that I was created for greatness and I was created for growth and I was created to teach others and to help others and everything, which is also why I'm doing this video. And I know for a fact that God's purpose for me was not to sit at a desk and make files all day and give ideas. Yes, I have ideas and I can give ideas, but I also want to be hands-on with the ideas and that's something that that's something that has been my purpose my entire life. Have ideas, you know, generate ideas, give ideas, and that's something that I've literally done my entire life and that's something that I know that um is my calling and the best way that I can be creative is another thing that I've been doing my life, which is in the field of musical theater, which is why I work, you know, with shows and stuff. And I work as a technician and I help tear, uh, set up the shows, tear down the shows in every aspect of which you can think. Yes, I help build the sets. I paint the sets. Um, I run the equipment on the sets. Um, during the shows, I'm hands on with the equipment on the sets. And that's what I do. That's that's who I am. That's what I've been doing for years. That's what I went to college for. I didn't go to college to sit behind a desk and write paperwork. And that's something that that's a point that I was trying to get across. That is a point that 
that nobody wanted to come across. And so, I mean, the conversation ended with the phone being hung up in my face, in which I don't really care about. Um, there are some moves being, that are being made behind the scenes that I'm not going to talk about because I need the moves to happen. And I'm going to make sure that the moves happen. And I'm going to pray that the moves happen. And I'm going to pray that these are the right moves for me. But if they weren't, then um, I, I would get a feeling or I would know or just like, I hesitated on that phone call. I would hesitate to make the moves happen. And I'm not. I'm. It's going to happen because it needs to happen. Because I need to grow. And I feel like where I am right now. Or at least where that opportunity would have taken me. Was not an opportunity to grow. And that's something that I want you guys to understand. Just because you're offered something. Does not mean that it's the right thing for you. So I want you to take time to know who you are, what you have to offer. Everybody has a purpose for something in life. And if you didn't, you would not have been here to begin with. So you have a purpose. You just have to figure out how to find what your purpose is. And you cannot be afraid. You cannot be afraid to take chances. Everybody is not going to like what you do or how you do things, but you have to do them. You have to get them done. I'm just using my situation because it's something that just that literally just happened a few hours ago. And I want to talk and I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to let me fix my posture. <laughs> I wanted to to help as many people as I possibly can um achieve what they want to do in life because I know a lot of people are searching for approval and validation from the people that they're around and I want you to know that you don't need anybody's validation or anybody's approval for your life because it's your life. I can definitely say um, what I feel is best for you, but that that's going to be me trying to create you in my image. And we're all already created in someone else's image. So there's no need for that. You know, I can't live your life if I tell you what to do and then you go back and do and you go do what I say and then you uh, the consequences happen. You have to live with those consequences, not me. So if you're going to live with the consequences of the choices that to, the choices that you make, even if it is you choosing to listen to someone else, understand that you are the one that has to live with those consequences. And since that's already going to happen, you might as well live with the consequences that are the consequences of your actions, something that you decided for yourself. Um, yes, I know life is going to be a struggle. I am in the world of entertainment and that in itself is a very, very competitive world and it's, it's, the competition grows every single day and every single day I have to bring my A game, I have to stay on my toes, you know, I have to anticipate every possible outcome and try to avoid that as much as possible but that does not mean that I get to lose out on so much fun and I know people are going to think well you just graduated college maybe a full-time job would have been best for you to help out you know paying your student loans um I understand that but I don't want to become a robot that's what's wrong with so many other people in the world they they have given up on themselves and on their dreams and on their goals because they got so sucked into well I have to pay my student loans so everybody's automatically looking for a job straight out of college just so that they can have some stability to pay back their student loans. What's the purpose of doing something like that when you lose yourself in the process? Ask yourself that question before you make a decision. This decision would have caused me to become like other people that I feel bad for. And I don't want that. You know, this this decision, if I would have chosen to take the job, would have costed me to sacrifice what I love so so much and what I'm really good at for the sake of trying to pay off a debt for something that somebody can't even take away from me I have my degree now you can't take that away so I'm going to use it for what it was meant for I'm not going to let it sit in the closet and collect dust while I go sit at a desk doing something that I don't want to do And that's just me. And I'm a very strong believer in who I am. And I'm a very strong believer in God. And I'm a very strong believer in who God has created me to be. 
Yes, my feelings did get hurt by the reaction that I got earlier. But feelings aside, this is my life. This is who I am meant to be. This is what I am meant to do. And that is not something that I am meant to do. And I just have to live with that. And you have to live with that. And I'm not saying you as in anyone specific. I'm saying you as in everybody who's watching. You have to live with every decision that you make. You have to suffer the consequences for every decision that you make. And understand that life is always going to be hard. It is all. It never gets easier. You just learn how to deal with it. And if you're going to learn how to deal with it, you should learn how to deal with it your way, in a way that's healthy, and in a way that keeps you happy. We all have to make sacrifices somewhere, but never sacrifice who you are as a person for the sake of money or for the sake of what other people want you to do. Never do that. And it may hurt your feelings, it may hurt their feelings, but people who love you will get over it and they will support you no matter what. I support you. I support everyone who wants to be great, who wants to be kind, who wants to love. I support that. So you go be who you are and I'm going to go be who I am. And I am happy for everybody who's already doing that. I am happy for everybody who is making the the changes in their lives to do that. I am happy for everybody who is taking the step to make that happen. Never lose who you are for the sake of money or for the sake of what somebody else wants you to be. Do what makes you happy and do not apologize for that. Never apologize for that. Thank you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay lovely and stay happy. Bye-bye.